leg it in the restricted section. Um, today I'm going to do my April wrap up. So I only read three books in April. Um, I've been in kind of a reading slump so I've had a hard time like concentrating and like being motivated to read and I've also had like a lot of other stuff going on so only read three books but um, they were three good books so I think that's important. So the first book I read was Exit West by, um, by Mohsin Hamid. So this tells the story of two individuals who are in, are kind of dating each other and they're in this country that um, there's a civil war brewing and it end up, ends up breaking out full-blown in the course of the book. Um, and so these two people are pushed closer together due to the circumstances that they they find themselves in and they end up having to flee the country um, to go somewhere safer. So this is kind of the story of their relationship and what it goes through um, as they kind of grow and change and learn things about themselves as they're fleeing their home country. Um, I really liked this book. It was a really short book. It was a quick read. Um, the writing was really simple, but it was really beautiful. And there was an element of like magical realism in there. So it talks about these doors that people use to leave the country, um, but they're kind of magical doors. So I really liked it. I think I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads, but I thought it was really good. Next, I read Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I don't know how I had never read this before, uh, um, so I figured it was time. But this book was pretty fucked up. Um, and it was a really kind of scary metaphor allegory of society. So these young boys, um, there's a plane crash and this plane full of young boys lands, crash lands on this island, this uninhabited island. Um, and there are no adults. And so these boys at first are like, woo, no adults. And then, um, quickly reality sets in and they realize like wait a second who knows we're here who's coming for us what are we going to eat and things devolve into shit rather quickly so yeah lots of craziness happens in this book uh i'm sure most people have read it but i still don't want to give too many spoilers just in case but um yeah there were a couple of parts that just made my stomach drop in this book um but it was a pretty quick read as well I wasn't super motivated, so it took me longer than it would have otherwise, but it's a pretty short book. Um, I think I ended up giving it 4 out of 5 stars. And then lastly, I read Blackout by Connie Willis, which I already talked about in my, um, I did a review of this in my TBR pick or whatever video. I really liked this. Um, the characters weren't super, like, compelling, and I didn't find myself super attached to any of them. But the story was cool, and the time travel element was cool. Um, and I think historically it was super interesting. It seems like it was very well researched. So, I enjoyed it. I think I gave this one three or four stars. I don't remember. Um, but I did find, this is the first book, and there's a second one. So I found the second one at the library sale on Dollar Bag Day, so I got it for like 20 cents. And I'm going to read that because this book ends on a pretty legit fucking cliffhanger and you don't know what happens to the characters. So while I wasn't invested in any of them personally, I was invested in their plight or in their circumstances. Um, so I want to know what happened to them and what the fuck is going on with this whole time travel situation. So I'm going to read the second one. And I'm not sure when, but I'm going to read the second one so I can find out what the fuck happened. So yeah, uh, like I said, I had kind of a light reading month. I only read three books, but they were three good ones. And so I'm satisfied with the reading I did in April. Hopefully in May I can read a little bit more. Um, I don't know why I'm in such a slump here lately, but it's just been hard to get motivated and stay focused on reading or anything really so um yeah so hopefully in may i can i can bust out of my slump i'm looking for a good slump buster book and um right now i'm doing toil and trouble a so a lot of those challenges are really fun and i think those the books i've chosen to read for those challenges are going to be a lot of fun so i think that will probably help but anyway that's my April wrap-up. 
Uh, what did you guys read in April? Leave me some comments, let me know what you read. Um, as usual, there'll be some links down below where you can find Sue and I elsewhere on social media. And if you're not already subscribed to the restricted section, you should do it. And that's all for me today. Thanks for watching.